All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna verify our best shooting load from the last video, which was the Varget 77 grains here, Match King load workup. So uh, we're gonna take 22.5 grains, which I believe was right around half him away. And we are going to check that and see if we can verify and uh, repeat that. And if not, then we'll do further load development, as well as looking at the standard full length sizing die with the expander ball in it. And then we're gonna compare that with 0.222 expanding mandrel. And we're gonna look and see if we can get uh, better shooting groups with the expanding mandrel than we do with a standard full length size die. For the expanding mandrel, we take this out, we run our brass through the uh, full length sizing die without the expander ball in it to bump our shoulder and size the neck down. And then we use the expanding mandrel to open it back up and get the neck tension that we want. There's a lot of reasons why people choose an expanding mandrel over the expander ball that comes with a full length sizing die. A, you can set your neck tension how you want it, whether your tension is more or less than the average that you would get with a uh, expander button, which uh, I would guess is typically around uh, 2000s, but uh, looking on the forums, I see some people have as high as like five to seven thousandths. So um, with this, you can uh, decide what you want for your neck tension and choose that. And then as well, and I'll put a picture up on the screen for you, but mine with the threading, I don't know if the threading is a little off or what, but this does not sit centered in the uh, die. So when you're reloading your brass, it's gonna torque the uh, neck of the brass a little bit. So when it's pulling it back out through, it can uh, cause some run out. And this is centered. And if you look at this one, uh, it's actually a little bit uh, free floating. It just screws on there. And then this is centered in there. And all you're doing is just opening that back up after you size the neck down and bump your shoulder. One of the other things on top of being more centered, less run out, as well as changing your neck tension. One of the things that uh, you get when you use a standard full length sizing die is when you fire your brass, your, your neck expands and then uh, your brass is able to then fit over the expander ball then uh, when it hits the shoulder and the neck and it squeezes that back down, the expander ball is actually pulling back out through your brass. And it can actually lengthen your brass and cause your brass life to be less. But also when you set your shoulder bump and then you're pulling that out, it can change the shoulder bump ever so slightly. So those are the things that uh, you kind of have to think about when you're using an expanding button over an expanding mandrel. And um, I would say for, for most applications, just a standard full length sizing die with the expander button in there, you're gonna be completely fine. It's gonna still give you great accuracy, but if you're wanting to get really more in depth on your accuracy, uh, you can always try this. And that is what we're gonna do today to see if an expanding mandrel is worth the extra step and the extra cost versus just having one step or paying more for your setup. So let's go ahead and hit the range and we'll start off on the left target, which is our expander ball. Now we're gonna go on to our next 10 rounds on the right target, which is our expanding mandrel, and see what we get. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go inside and see what we got. Okay, back from the range. 
Let's start off with our first group, which is the expander ball. All 10 rounds fit into a 1.397 inch group with one pretty significant flyer. Even though it is 10 rounds, I would prefer to see at least an inch for both of these groups. I'm probably gonna end up tweaking this load development just a little bit and see if I can uh, shrink the group up a little bit. But as you can see with the 0.222 expander mandrel, we did get a smaller group than the expander ball with a 1.258 inch group. We did have two flyers instead of one flyer. However, the majority of the rounds, eight of the rounds fit into a much smaller hole than the um, nine rounds did over here. One thing that I'm not really sure why this happened but a significant number of the shots uh, shifted up a bit from the ones that I got with the expander ball. The only thing I can think of is I have more run out, but I would think that that would just cause a, an opening of the group more because they still grouped decently. Uh, without the flyer on this one, it's 0.923 inches. And then without the flyers on this one, it's uh, 7.8 inches. So I'm not, I'm not really sure why it shifted up so much. It's almost I don't know, three quarter MOA, half MOA up, which for such a, a significant number that fit into such a small hole, I'm not really sure on. So if you guys have any ideas, go down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on that. I'm probably gonna tweak this, maybe go down to 22.4 grains and then see what I get there since the difference between the 22.3 and 22.5 grains, the average velocity on those is only five feet per second. So I'm kind of at the tail end of, of that node. So I I think that if I come down a little bit, it will give me a bit of forgiveness and hopefully that will help with the group. And if that doesn't help, then I'll, I'll play around and see what other seating depth I can get since typically the max seating depth is 2.260. I have a mag that I can usually get out to like 2.3 inches. So yeah, we'll see what we can do as far as uh, tightening the groups up. But with the shoot off between the expander ball and the 0.222 expander mandrel, definitely got a much better group with the expander mandrel so uh, my guess is that it has to do with the run out that I'm getting since my full length sizing die expander ball sits in there crooked but other than that down the road look for a video of me uh, continuing on with uh, Vargate and 77 grain zero match game to shrink my group up a bit thanks for stopping by the channel and we will see you in the next one